make sure, you know, it's bad. You're going to have to probably do it, you know, more than once as far as editing. But the goal is to promote the best product. You want right. to have your product ready. Even if you are an artist who maybe uses uh, music and it has explicit lyrics, uh, if it has explicit lyrics, that's your right. But always have what's called an edited version of your best song ready. Right. You don't want to limit yourself <clears throat> and leave yourself out of the potential of gaining fans and, you know, making money. And that's what it's all about. And this leads right. to the promotion part. I always have more than one version of a song. And, right. you know, because you don't win. And if you win fans, you might win some fans who you may not like songs that have explicit lyrics. Uh-huh. Or the vulgar language. You have those, they stick with one side and not that they don't get attention or whatever, but how much of a gain are you not getting? Because right. even a lot of commercial artists have to have what's considered radio-friendly songs. Right. Yeah, because you know, because I notice a lot when you, and then um, I notice a lot of radio shows. You can bet, you can kind of like how they say, weed out the artist mm-hmm. that's not. You know what I mean? <laughs> you know, yeah. weed out the, a whole lot of artists. You can weed out like ninety, almost ninety five percent of them, just by saying you only play clean music. Correct. You know what I mean? Because a lot of them don't have, you know, that period. So you can, and then the ones that do have it. Most of them have put, I said, because cause I've noticed, like, because we have one where, um, you know, like an FM station that plays, like, all he plays clean music. So sometimes I go on there, on the on the email, and grab some of the singles off of there. And I know, I noticed that the uh, production is better. They get, mm-hmm. it's mastered, you know, it's mastered, and, you know, it's edited. And they have the uh, instrumental, the acapella the edited and the explicit version. It's like all of they they send you all four of them, you know what I mean, So to use. Yeah. So I know mm-hmm. that when you ask for the clean singles, you know, that I noticed that about those artists. Those artists have invested, most of them artists have invested in getting that done, you know. Exactly. The uh, category that you named, that is the help from the team. It's a lot because you have those that right now or at this present time, they themselves are the team. They're a one-man, one-woman show. And that right. I commend you all. But the way DJ Damo said, you have to have as much faces covered as possible because, as you said before, with the commercial artists, they have all of those because it's part of the marketing factor. Right. It's part of the profitability factor. It's mm-hmm. part of the <clears throat> industry, which is business. If right. you think yourself, a good number of you in the, uh, in the artists are going to have to think this. You are a small business. Mm-hmm. And right. you're going to have to think that way. Mm-hmm. Because right, I, I noticed, like, uh, go ahead. I'm sorry. No, that's all right. You go ahead. No, I was gonna say because I mean I've noticed DJs like you know they you know they might like when you send those four versions of the song, you have an opportunity. Really, you create yourself four opportunities. You know what I mean. So the art, the DJ might not like the beat, but he might like the lyrics. Mm-hmm. So and or you, you, the beat might not be a club beat, but he might feel figure well I'm gonna support the guy because uh, I like the lyrics. So I'm gonna play the lyrics over this beat. So now, because he now he has the acapella version, because so he can use that. You know what I mean? So you create with the you send those four. Number one, they most likely look a lot of them look at it because you did send all four of them. You know, so they kind of like okay, this guy's spending money. He's investing in himself. So he was like, but I don't like I don't like the beat, but I do like the lyrics. So I'm gonna use the I'm gonna use his lyrics on just say you know. A uh, 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 T.I.B. You know what I mean? You know, or, or Yellow Wolf right. beat, or something like that. You know what I mean? So, but I'm, I'm gonna put it in. I'm gonna put it in some kind of club song and just roll with it. You know, 